Hello everyone, it's me, Minipix666. I'm here today with a quick video, mainly to show off my CPU which I've been building in Minecraft. At the moment I haven't got much, I've just got the ALU, which is the bit that does all the sums. So, I'll do a quick demo of that and then I'll show you the redstone behind this wall. So I'll start off, I'll do the big sum, which is 15 plus 15, that's the biggest it can do. 15 plus 15 is 30, which is 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2. That one's right, I know that one. Um, so let's try some... Oh god, hang on, I'm in creative mode now, aren't I? Okay. <laughs> uh, so let's do... Let's just reset them all. Let's do 10 plus... Eleven. Ten plus eleven, that's a nice number. Which is of course well, sixteen, twenty, twenty one. Yes, that's right. So now what I'll do it has five functions. It's XOR, which detects when the two are different. And which detects when they're both the same. Or which does when, e when any, of any of them are on, either of them, and not A, which is the opposite of A, which is that. So, that's a quick demo of what it does, and this is how it does it. It's quite an inefficient series of buses and repeaters, but I mean, a three second delay for a signal to get all the way up here to this section, be calculated and then sent back down isn't too bad. So what we've got here, I'll go from the top down, is we've got underground buses. These are, um, which ones are those? I don't think they're actually meant to be there, they're from something else. So these are the buses that come out from down there. So you've got the, all the data buses, there's one, two, three, why is there? Oh, sorry, yes, there's, so that's, um, bus B down here and bus A is on top. And then we've got the carry output from the adder, full adder, full adder, full adder and half adder. And then we've got along here an interesting XOR gate design by a guy called Blot from Nathan Wells Pixelated Pickaxe series, which I suggest you check out if you like watching people run around and play Minecraft. Uh, these are the inverters which are built onto the gate, uh, and I'll show you this since it's enabled at this side. These pistons are here to select the function, so this is the data that we've got coming from the gates. And then because of the way redstone works, the signal travels through the block and then goes off to the output buses over here. We have the R gates, which is just stick everything into a block and see what happens. There is more efficient ways to do that. Um, and then we've got the AND gates here, which are all connected up to a series of things. That's something left over from benchmarking. Well, I think it's quite amusing benchmarking a Minecraft computer. So my immediate plan is to set up a series of latches so that you can take the results and feed it back into the next sum, and then. In the future, I hope to set it up as a fully functional system that can run programs and do stuff. I don't know, it might take a bit more space than I've got here and take a lot longer. But, we'll see. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, texture pack is the texture pack that you use for... Um, what's the mod called? Uh, the Cube Inc. Adventure Map, that's the one. Um, I just use it because the texture for cobble, uh, not cobblestone, glowstone, which is what this floor is made of, is quite nice. It's not horrible, so I can live with that rather than using something else. So I can use night without having to go through all single player commands and stuff like that. So anyway, yes, that's um, my Minifig 1 CPU, or Minifig 4 CPU. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.